Why don't Harvard students throw their hats in the air at graduation? Because in all their years at Harvard, they never learn to catch. Meanwhile, a Cornell graduate already bought the hat company. And now, let us look at 11 critical differences between the two. Let's compare the differences between Harvard University and Cornell University, two renowned institutions of higher education in the United States. Difference one, the first notable difference between the two institutions is their location. Harvard is located in Cambridge, Massachusetts, in the heart of a thriving academic region with proximity to urban innovations and cultural richness of Boston. Cornell, on the other hand, is set in Ithaca, New York, with a rural surrounding that offers plenty of outdoor activities and natural beauty. Difference two, the demographic makeup of the student population differs quite substantially between the two schools. Harvard has a larger population of international students, making up around 27% of the total student body, whereas Cornell's international student population is around 10%. Difference three, Harvard is primarily known for its programs in business, law, medicine, and public policy, consistently in the top rankings. On the other hand, Cornell is recognized for its programs in engineering, industrial and labor relations, veterinary sciences, and hotel management. Difference four, the teaching methods at the two universities are different as well. Harvard is well known for its case study methodology, especially in business studies, while Cornell emphasizes collaborative and experimental learning. Difference five, the size of the student bodies also varies. Harvard has a smaller undergraduate population with around 6,700 students, while Cornell is one of the largest Ivy League schools with about 15,000 undergraduates. Difference six, rate of acceptance is another significant difference. Harvard is known to have one of the lowest acceptance rates among US colleges, around 5%, while Cornell's acceptance rate is slightly higher at approximately 10.85%. Difference seven, in terms of cost, Harvard's comprehensive tuition and fees are somewhat higher than Cornell's. However, Harvard's extensive financial aid program offsets these costs for many students. Difference eight, Harvard and Cornell also have different founding principles and histories. Harvard, established in 1636, is the oldest institution of higher education in the US, focusing initially on training clergy. Cornell, founded in 1865, was created with the philosophy of being an institution where any person can find instruction in any study. Difference nine, the campus environments differ vastly too. Harvard has a more urban feel given its location, while Cornell provides a more rural and outdoorsy experience due to its positioning in the Finger Lakes region. Difference 10, Harvard's living arrangements are unique in that it runs a house system where undergraduates live, dine, and receive personal advising. Conversely, Cornell doesn't operate on a house system and has a diverse range of living arrangements. Difference 11. Lastly, the number of colleges within the universities also differ. Harvard is composed of 13 principal academic units, 10 faculties, and the Radcliffe Institute for Advanced Study. Cornell, on the other hand, carries seven undergraduate colleges and seven graduate divisions at its main Ithaca campus.